Welcome to Gloucester Heartbreak. Um, just how are you settling in? Thank you. Um, yeah, it's great to be here, great to be involved. The girls have all been really welcoming. Um, nice, to, nice to be back at it. And what attracted you to, to Gloucester Heartbreak? Um, well, it's just the top of their game that all of the um, players, all of the staff, they're working really hard and it's just, it looks like a great programme. Uh, they've got a great ethos, I think, down here and it, it really shows both on the pitch and in the training that I've been at. Yeah, you mentioned the ethos, which is a big sort of buzzword around the team last, last year, obviously, the circus. How nice is it to be getting involved in that and, and getting to know everyone? Oh, it's great to be part of it. It's, um, yeah, as I say, everyone's been really welcoming since I've been down, but they, they're just, they're a great team to play against and I think they've been even greater to be around. Um, it's been great, um, really, really exciting to be part of it and to be playing with such high calibre players. Yeah, you mentioned playing against the girls. So what was that like to, to come up against Gloucester Hartbury, obviously, the last few seasons? And, and what were they like to play against? And what did you sort of think of them? Yeah, I mean, um, had the, the privilege of playing them quite a few times. I mean, this year, I feel like they've been on everyone's radar, but they've, they've always been a, um, a good outfit. You always know that you're going to get a, um, a physical game, but they're also prepared to sort of just play rugby. It's really exciting stuff. You, uh, yeah, you've always got to be prepared. And Sean Lynn, obviously the, the head coach, um, in his interview last week, um, praised your, your leadership and your sort of commitment. So what are your early interactions with Linny and, and sort of how are you getting on with him? Oh, he's, um, yeah, he's been amazing. Really um, great guy, really supportive for the whole move, obviously moving down to the other end of the country. It's been a big change for me. So um, getting used to getting used to a new setup and stuff and yeah couldn't have asked for more really that's been great and obviously just going back to you said about the girls last season what were your sort of thoughts on them last season obviously a terrific season and lifting the trophy so what are your thoughts on that and how are you looking to build on that in your time here I mean obviously terrifying um, yeah definitely glad to hopefully be sharing the pitch with some of them but I mean there's just so many impressive incredible players um, on the pitch and in the wider squad. I'm just really excited to learn from them and hopefully play my part in, in keeping the sort of growth going, being um, sort of in the environment, in the community, seeing how much it means to people around here. It's, it's really, really nice. Um, and so, I, yeah, I look forward to being part of that and growing. And obviously we're sat here in the stand here at King's Home or Queen's Home as it was known for the final. So how much are you looking forward to running out here at obviously a special place for rugby in Gloucestershire? Oh yeah, it was, um, it, it's a great facility and uh, as I say you can see in the surrounding area how much it means but obviously on the pitch as well it's just it seems like a really exciting place to be. And just for people that may not necessarily know much about you, what, what are the Gloucester Hartbury fans? What can they expect from you and, and the way you want to play? I just, um, I just want to be here. Want to be um, on the pitch around the girls. So, yeah, when I'm, when I'm here, if I get my my chance, I hope to just give it everything that I have and hopefully learn more from the people around me and and give it everything I've got. And we're obviously not far away now from the start of that season, the Allianz Cup and, and then going into the Power League as well, which is obviously exciting. So how much are you excited to, to get stuck into that? Oh, raring to go. It's another, another long season like last year, but it just means loads of opportunity, big squad, big games. It's, um, yeah, the growth of the game is amazing. And I just, I'm really excited to still be a part of that and still be involved and, um, yeah, to see how the game progresses and, uh, yeah, have my shot in it.